Number 34, now we have a pretty challenging problem here. And the figure above shows a car that is broken down on East Road. A tow truck leaves a garage on North Road. Here's our tow truck on North Road at point B. The straight line distance between points A and B is 50. So right from here directly to here, A to B, that's going to be 50. We have a right triangle. I wonder if Pythagorean theorem will be involved. So if the tow truck travels at an average speed of 45 miles per hour, so speed is, or we'll say rate, because we're going to be using that equation for sure. The rate or the speed is going to be 45 miles per hour. Um, along north and east roads, how long will it take the tow truck to get to the car? Fair enough. So we need to know this distance here. So we're going to use Pythagorean theorem with 20 and 50 and b. b squared plus 20 squared equals 50 squared. b squared plus 400 equals 2,500. B squared equals 400 uh, minus 400 here would be 2,500 minus 400 is 2,100. And now I'm going to take the square root of 2,100. I'll do that quickly on my calculator. I get 45.825. Now, the path that they're going to take the distance is going to be this number here, 45. 0.825 plus this 20. So I'm going to go ahead and add 20 to this value and I get 65.825 is the total distance. Now we know that rate times time equals distance. It's the equation all the parents are always afraid of. Now our rate was 45 miles per hour. We want to know how long it took us to travel this distance of 65.825. So I'll divide both sides by 45. And let's see what I get. I get 1.46 T equals 1.4627 blah 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 blah. Okay. So we know it was at least one hour, so A is not the answer. The problem here is that this is a fraction of an hour, and the answers are in minutes here. So we want to take 0.4627, which is a fraction of an hour that has 60 minutes, and multiply it times 60 to find the number of minutes. That's usually where students mess this up here. And when I do so, I find that I get approximately 27.76 so on minutes. So that rounds to 28 and that makes C our answer. You can see you have this 0.46 here. They want you to choose E this 46 minutes, but minutes are based off of a 60 minute hour, not a 100 minute hour. And this is a decimal place and obviously it's based off of 100.